What is up guys, welcome back to the second player review. Today we're going to be looking at Inform Dos Santos. If you guys missed my first one, it was an Inform Suarez review. Make sure you check it out before we begin this video if you missed it. Now we're going to be looking at Inform Dos Santos. I think he was the second most voted player in Team of the Week by you guys. And before I begin that review though, if you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your coins, check the link in the description for battle.com. Use the Itani code to get 5% off. Also, that will be in the description below. Low. Anyway, let's get on with this review. To begin with, this guy felt so much like Messi when you're trying to dribble with him. It was so amazing because he's like a very cheap Messi to dribble with. So if you have played with Messi before but you had to sell him because you're running short on coins, make sure you get this guy because he dribbles exactly like Messi. He also has that 4-star weak foot and 4-star skill so even better than Messi in that category. But he's also left foot, so it is very he's very similar to Messi. That is what I really loved about him. And one thing is for sure that he has that finesse shot trait as well. So you're going to be scoring finesse shots for days in FIFA. And what's actually surprising about him is his shot power and long shots are underrated. In his in-game stats, I felt they were pretty damn good. You'll see a very nice long shot with him. And one of them hits the post. So really good player. But as a striker, he is so, so weak. So I would recommend you move him back to at least a center attacking midfielder or a center forward in a different formation. You can try him out in a 4 triple 2 formation on the right-hand side of the pitch as a center attacking midfielder. That might work. I actually, I actually might want to try that in future. But even if you play him in the central role, he is really good to dribble past defenders. And I say he is weak, but sometimes because of how awesome his balance is and ball control, he can get away from defenders very fast because this guy's got very good pace. And you will see me just pace abusing with him on the wings quite a bit of this video. And um, heading wise, don't even bother crossing it to him because it's a waste of time. Another thing you shouldn't even bother with is not putting him in a lone striker formation because as a lone striker, he is terrible. So make sure you play him in the two striker formation and for a striker I felt his finishing can be quite unreliable sometimes in the penalty area I would feel some shots should be sitters or a finesse shot should be you know 100% into the back of the net but sometimes with him it's quite unreliable when it comes down to his finishing in the in the penalty area so he isn't the greatest at you know finishing but he isn't terrible either so make sure you jot that down if you're thinking of buying a clinical striker now Dos Santos my favorite thing about him has to be his dribbling if you're looking for an amazing dribbler as a striker or a center attack midfielder this guy is simply the best player I could think of in that league other than Messi or Ronaldo or you know the very expensive players and that is about it for this player review guys if you enjoyed it I'd really appreciate a like and the only negatives I found for Inform Dos Santos was his heading He's weak and his finishing. Also, don't forget to let me know in the comment section below who is your favorite dribblers from this year's Ultimate Team. For one, this guy is one of my favorites in Ultimate Team to dribble with. So hope you guys enjoyed this review. Don't forget to also let me know who you want me to review next for um, tomorrow, I guess. And I hope you have a very nice day.